Alright, so I'd like to take a look at um, using the actual geometric sequence formula. So Tn is equal to A. I'm going to write it in with the invisible bits here. So A, make sure you put in your time sign times R, and then make sure you put in your brackets. And you've got N minus 1 in the brackets. Okay, so if I want to try to find the 20th term of a geometric sequence, um, I need to be able to use this formula. So, like we've done before, I'm going to look at this sequence here, and I, I just want to double check actually, because now we've got arithmetic and geometric sequences, you need to make sure you're not confusing the two. Remember that arithmetic will add between them, or subtract between them, and geometric will times will divide. So, I need to find here to figure out what's going on, and if I just try to add them, um, between the first term would be a total of 8, and between the second term would be uh, 24, so that's not the same thing adding every time, so it's probably going to be a geometric, so let's take a look at that. Remembering, if it's helpful for you to visualize what's happening here. These are my term numbers. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. And these are my term values. Right? 4 for the first, 12 for the second, 36 for the third. So let's find the common ratio, or find R, in our formula. And like I mentioned before, that can be something like T2 divided by T1, or T3 divided by T2, or T9 divided by T8, but it's always one term, and then divide it by the term that came before it. So here, to find R, we could try term 2, T2, divided by 4, and we get 3. And just to double check here, let's do another one. Let's try 36 divided by the one in front of it, which is 12. And we get 3, so r is equal to 3. I know that my first term here, quite easy, is given to me. a is equal to 4. And that's most of what I need in the formula. The last thing to think about here was r, sorry, n. And they actually want me to find the 20th term, so I know that means to me n is 20. I'm trying to go out here to 20 and figure out what that term is going to be. So, n will be equal to 20. Plugging into my formula then, we'll write it out here first. Oops, minus 1. So the 20th term, t20, is going to be equal to a, which is 4, times r, which is 3, the power of n, which is 20, minus 1 in brackets. So again, when you put this into your calculator, it's going to be 4 times 3, the little power button, and then bracket 20 minus 1. And when you do this, you'll get a stupidly large number, but that's okay. You might see it written out with no um, exponents or powers, so the whole number written out would be something along the lines of 4, 6, Four nine zero four five eight six eight, or on some calculators you might have something like this: four point six four nine e to the eight. Oh, sorry, e to the nine. E to the plus zero nine. So if it's in exponent form, you need to make sure you write that as four point six four nine times 10 to the ninth. That's what that means. So either write it out in full form without a decimal, or change that e to a times 10, and then put the power on the 10. So those basically mean the same thing. Either of them will work. So that is a big number, but um, basically, now that we're a little bit more familiar with formula, as long as you're plugging it into your calculator correctly, you should be able to get there when you find your r, your a, and your n. So. We'll just do one more example here if you need it, so feel free to stop the video and get started. Identifying a, which is my first term, is going to be 1. And r here, if I'm not certain about what's happening, but if I look, 1 times 2 is 2, times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, it's times 2. But again, if you didn't know, you could do 2 divided by 1 equals 2. Or you could double check 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, always taking one term and dividing it by the one in front of it. So r is equal to 2, a is equal to 1. My formula then, for t sub n, my general formula here, is going to be 1 times 2 
to the power of n minus 1. And you could write that probably as just 2 times 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now if I want to find the 20th term, I'm going to plug in n equals 20 in this case, so 1 times 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. Double check you put this into your calculator correctly. And you should get another rather large number. 2, sorry, 5, 2, 4, 2, 8, 8. So again, don't just watch the video and assume you'll do it correctly in your own calculator. Actually pull out your calculator and try it, because a lot of girls will get that wrong just accidentally putting it into the calculator incorrectly. Okay. So not too bad. Just figure out what your n number is going to be based on what they're asking. Either they'll put it in words, find the 20th term, or you can look for the little tiny n under the t to give you an indication here that they want the 20th term.